It's time for the Giz Whiz with Maz Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1705, recorded Thursday, December 13th, 2018. We put the chi in cheap. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have three gadgets that the Giz Whiz has never seen before. I have a crappy Christmas gadget that will blow you away metaphorically and literally speaking, and a viewer Ooh. video, all next on The Giz It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz now. Now! Now, and here he is. King Emperor the Third of Gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. All dressed up fancy for the holidays. Yeah. So we're go we're going a little bit early tonight because yeah. you tell us. Oh, it's just a it's just a holiday event with friends. Um, nothing super special. Uh, we are dressing fancy, so. That's really wow. all. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Getting Is it at a restaurant early. or home? Or? A home, yeah, someone's home. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So looking forward to that. Um, but this episode, you have three gadgets you've never seen before, ever. And my crappy corner, I'm actually, I like it. I like it. Oh, I gotta okay. Say. So okay. Nothing it's wrong not with that. so great, but that's one of the reasons that I like it. I think it's oh, the perfect. Okay. The, it, if you could get a gadget and, and say, this is a crappy corner gadget, it's this gadget. It really is. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. very good. But very you had good. some cool stuff that happened over the week. Oh, it was great. On Sunday, Charlie, I, and Dennis went to the Blessing of the Animals. It takes place at, Christ, it's called Christ Church. It's on Park Avenue and 64th Street. And the police department brings some of their horses. They bring some of their service dogs. This guy is going in with a little Westie. Uh, I don't know what the signs were for. Uh, Guardian Angels were there. Uh, it's, a, it's a group that like patrols the city to, to do good. I guess they were there maybe for uh, crowd control. But... What was wonderful about it is, you know, more and more, there's Charlie online to be blessed. Okay. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie was very confused. We thought Charlie was going to be excited beyond belief, but I think he was a little overwhelmed. There was a pig, a goat, uh, a camel, <laughs> uh, horses, as oh I said, dogs. The people next to us were there to have their fish blessed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so they had their fish there uh, in a container. And, uh, and Leo Laporte Char was doing the blessing. Look at that. <laughs> that that's right. <laughs> and it was so great. They not only had the minister or the priest, they had a rabbi there also. <laughs> it, was, it was great. And I think it was the rabbi who opened uh, the uh, – event with, with oh that Char charlie thought it, there's going to be food <laughs> <laughs> i said charlie there's no food and he so he mistake me to think i said charlie there is food so he's he's licking his chops there um but the uh the opening was we've come here today to bless the animals on this day and every other day of the year our animals bless us with their presence. Oh, and course. I thought, I thought that was just absolutely uh, perfect. Yeah. Yes. Ever any, anybody could come in with any sort of animal. It, it, it's, it's really great. We've gone there uh, many times after fairway and Maggie got blessed a couple times. We would just go there on our own just to see animals. And it is amazing how little, this time there was no altercation between any of the animals. Um, it was they're just on great. good behavior. Just great. They're yeah. all on, yes, they're on good behavior. Uh, and you, sir, what was up with you this week? Um, well, this weekend I had a crazy weekend. If you remember last week, we uh, recorded early. I went to 
um, where did I go to? Washington, Seattle, Washington, and we raised over $160,000 for Extra Life Charity. All that money goes to benefit Children's Miracle Network hospitals oh, um, all across the nation. So really excited about that. Had a ton of fun. I ended up uh, waxing my leg for incentives, uh, for donation incentives. Um, you waxed your up. leg for uh, as a dare? Basically, what I said is if we raise, a hundred and I think it was $125,000, I will have another content creator wax my left leg. So that's what happened. And it hurt And what did they lot. wax it with? Um, like wax strips. So they, oh, you put oh the wax my strips God. Oh, no. Whoosh, take it off. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, not turtle wax. No, they, uh, yeah. So I, I don't know you if I can. You got the haired? Yes, exactly. So this oh. leg. I don't know if I can actually, if I'm flexible enough to show off, but this, uh, uh, how does, uh, how does this get caught in there somewhere? <laughs> there we go. Bam. Let's see if the product shot. Yeah, this is all oh, smooth. Uh, oh my Smoothness. God. Smoothness. Yeah. Oh my so. God. It could be a leg model. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Oh my God. Yeah. So um, that was one small thing. We had um, a whole bunch of, like, you know, this is all through my gaming group, uh, Mindcrack. And so a lot of it was gaming focused. We did two Minecraft game modes where donors could affect the game. So for like $10, you might get coal or something or like iron to help build you up in the game. Um, and then one and of my then now we also, uh, streaming this, could people at exactly. home be doing this? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, so okay. Uh, we streamed it for 48 hours straight. So this is like a telethon thing where you ever, someone was on at all times of the 48 hours. Wow. And asking for donations, fulfilling requests, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then we'd have like content, you know, planned for certain periods. One of my favorites was... We did, do you know Cutthroat Kitchen? Cutthroat yes. Kitchen? Um, it's where, if anyone hasn't watched, is you get chefs, they kind of have money, they can bid for various uh, punishments or like boons, like good things that happen to them. Um, and we do a, a version of that that we call Sliced. And I did a okay. bake off where we had to bake uh, cakes and cookies. And we didn't have ovens at the place, so we did an easy bake oven bake off. And so we'd have easy bake <laughs> ovens and we'd have to create things and we got cash to bid on various things. You know, oh my. Thing. You like know that, that was... new LED uh, easy bake <laughs> oven, it takes 48 hours to make a cookie. Uh-huh, yeah. It uses yeah, pure so radiation. I, th I, think they should, I think they should rethink that. <laughs> it was, no, it was I, a fun event. It was just Oh fun. my gosh, I think yeah, that's I didn't great. even know they still say, sell easy bake ovens. I, thought I, they, I the... believe they do. Yeah. I believe they're part of some, some other company now. Carve out, yeah. Uh, um, some they've merged with a division of, I believe, Girl Scout cookies, and I believe they may have girl e easy bake Girl Scout cookies. There was some licensing thing that that I, about a year and a half ago, I saw this gadget and I said, "This is weird." And they said, "Oh yeah, we're part of the Easy Bake Oven group." So okay. at least a year and a half ago, they were around. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, we. I mean, we had to buy them new off Amazon to get them shipped. Oh to the my studio. gosh! So yeah, they're definitely well, still did, around. Do you know what? Did you open one? Do you know what the bulb is? Is it still like a sixty watt bulb? I think so. See, I still feel like incandescent bulbs can exist under like specific categories. So I can't. I don't. I didn't open it up. We didn't open it up. I didn't have time okay. to. But um, I feel like no. You no, know, you know what? On my boat, uh, I I stopped doing it because I didn't use the sink that much. But on my boat, I have a a very little sink, and the boat is so small it uses actually a five gallon plastic uh, baggie, like like you <laughs> hang up uh, on a camping site for as the water supply. And one year, I thought if I put a sixty watt bulb under the sink where this bag is, I can have water all winter long. Mm -hmm. And, and I did. And, and I thought, wow, if they ever do away with bowl, with yeah. bowl, uh, I, I can't do this. Well, it ended up that 
I didn't use enough water to have a bulb burning all winter long. But you're right. There are certain places where you need uh, the heat of an incandescent bulb for certain things. Crispy Bacon in the Twitch chat says, they don't sell 100-watt bulbs anymore, but they do sell 100-watt heat lamps that happen to give off light. (laughs) So there you go. Oh, that's great. That's one way to get around it. That is one that is really uh, clever. You know, it's like, um, I think it was in Holland. There, There's a church that it has a lot of immigrants that cannot, uh, immigrants or whatever it is, unlicensed people or whatever, they cannot be arrested during a service. So this service is in its seventh week. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Is that funny? It's pretty good. It's like yeah. um, uh, the Elon Musk's boring company, Flamethrower. They kept running yeah. into issues where customs would not accept them because they couldn't accept flamethrowers. So they renamed it to not a flamethrower, and it got through customs just fine. Oh, how funny. <laughs> not a, It's not a theme, flamethrower. Not a flamethrower. That it's is not. absolutely yeah. funny. Exactly. Uh, anyway, we started early, so I'm going to lean over here. And pull out my rundown, because I don't even remember what (laughs) what my first gadget is. Uh, But now I do. Um, Okay, should we jump into gadgets? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is a gadget I did not know about until I started researching it. And this is what it is and what happened. So I was looking for a special kind of gadget that I wanted to use on the boat. A way to listen to movies from my cell phone. Uh, but yet had some decent sound. And I found Doc All, the wireless charging sound hub. Okay. And this is what it looks like. And I think it's pretty neat looking. Okay. So it has Qi wireless charging. It has Bluetooth. In the back, it can also charge two devices. There's USB 1 amp. And there's a USB 2 amp. This little guy is a micro uh, SD card slot, so you can play huh. music directly into this from the micro SD card, and then just a power button, uh, two speakers, one on each side for stereo, and then a built-in microphone. Um, they also say this is great for Skype, for answering phone calls. So let's hear what the sound is like, and instead of playing the usual... <laughs> Thing. Well, I usually play the Gizwiz country song. Uh, we will, let's see, find the Gizwiz and... Da-da. The Gizwiz show. All right, you got to play. Dickie Bartolo. This is episode 1704, recorded Tuesday, December 4th, 2018. I'm such a klutz. This episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets, three pet gadgets from the time to play. So that's magazine, what the sound is like. Expo. It's we pretty have neat, isn't a it? A crappy corner, and I can't believe it's not better. And <laughs> we have another video from Buddy Yates explaining all the awesomeness that happened last week. All that and more next on the Gizwiz. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me just stop this. Hang on. And it's definitely loud. This is perfect for okay, Netflix. So yeah. Up to 13 inches. And it, it charges uh, in either direction. I believe there are three different independent places where it will pick up where your charging port is on your tablet or your phone. Now, price-wise, Bluetooth, Bluetooth mode. Yes, we know that. Uh, hang on a second. I'm going to go over to where it is. All right, so this is the one. This is the D100. Okay, it's $59 on Amazon. It did sort of well. It looks like it's got like three, got 3.4 out of five stars. Evidently, I didn't know this. There's a new version called the D108. And the D108 seems to be in white. Only one person bought it and didn't like it. They gave it only two stars. And this is kind of strange. It looks like there is another model called called the D1300. Okay. They want a hundred bucks for it. And this is what was misleading. In 
the description of the one I bought, the D100, it said dancing lights, okay? And you see this down here? I wanted that. I wanted dancing lights, but it ain't. But mine was on sale for $49. The only light on this one is the blue light down here, okay? And that is on pretty much all the time. Um, so someone in one of the reviews did complain that they wanted to have it on their night table, uh, but it was too bright. So do you need that product? I think it might be called uh, Dims where the little uh, semi-clear plastic they can put over LEDs and cut them by 40 or 50%. That's it. The Dockall D100 for about 50 bucks. I think it's pretty decent. I would not pay 100 bucks for this. And it's sort of pay whatever you want on Amazon and on eBay too. It ranges from 50 to $200. Light dims. I remember those. Light, light dims. dims. You remember them? Yeah, oh, I yeah. use those. I, I like them a lot. Um, anyway, this thing, there, there you are, there you are. And you can get them in different, um, Shades degrees of, yeah. of, uh, dimness. Darkness. And you can even buy blackout light dims if you want, if you want, um, a pilot light or an LED light never to show through just by the total hundred percent blackout. Perfect. Okay. That's, a, that looks nice. <laughs> you know, I, I'm so glad that. I mean, it's so silly that Apple, I feel like once Apple uh, did Qi charging, I've seen so many more Qi chargers around, uh, and I'm really glad because it is so nice. It is so nice is just to lay your phone there, not do anything. It's not, yeah. There's all these little minor inconveniences, like the Apple Watch showing you notifications or reaching over, finding the plug in the middle of the night, fl plugging it in laying it back down with the cable sticking out, um, all that is just gone. So I'm, I'm a big fan of yeah. two chargers. And if you're so. using this to watch movies, it's great because you know your phone or your tablet, assuming it has Qi uh, wireless charging, is not going to run out of power because it's charging uh, as it's playing exactly. the movie. Exactly. You know, I, I, I put a link in there to a video from the yeah, company. Yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, and jump in like like uh, forty five seconds in or so. This is this is very strange. So you could play like thirty seconds of the of the video. So this is from the company. With the docking station. Well, it's really quiet. So we're so excited to bring the dock all to the Kickstarter community. With the consumer in mind, our vision is to create a unique product that will simplify the way you dock and charge all your. Okay, so buy. the reason I thought this was bizarre is we don't even have to see the rest is they never show a product yeah he's and, just like hanging out at a baseball field yes well he started out by saying we're going to come up with a product that's going to knock it out of the park uh-huh and then i he kept and i said well are you going to show us a picture are you going to show us a prototype <laughs> nothing huh. so anyway that but from that came the uh, I, I see I, I see down now at the bottom now. So the thirteen hundred was the very first one they did, and so maybe they did have dancing lights. So maybe they thought they would, but I I found the review of the D thirteen hundred on YouTube, and instead of having dancing lights, that blue light that's solid now, it blinks on and off. So <laughs> I guess that's what they ended up as having dancing lights. It does not change color. Um, anyway, 50 bucks. I think it's, do worth you it. feel like they knocked it out of the park? <laughs> I think they rolled it up to the fence. They punted uh, it to, they first punted base. it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. It's not okay. a knockout device, but it's pretty good uh, for awesome, what I needed. Awesome. At. Um, okay. Gadget number two. Um, I saw an ad for this and I thought I got to get this just to see what it is. And this is what it is. Gizwiz and Maz made us try to Dicky Bartola with the emergency recorder <laughs> from North American Health and Wellness. All right, this is what they look like. Now, you don't need two of them. You don't need stereo. Uh, but I always buy, when things are cheap, I always buy two of them. Uh, because if one is not working, I immediately have a backup. And that was the case with this one. 
Uh, this one is dead out of the box. All right, so this is a, about as low tech as you can get. You push this button and it's supposed to record something. Uh, so this one is DOA, dead on arrival. So this is how this works. If you have an older person, totally non techy and you want them to carry very, some very information young child. with them, like their address <laughs> or what medication they're on, this is an easy way to do it. So you get it, charge it up. It's USB, micro USB. And then it holds a 30-second message that you record. So you just push the record button. Hi, it's the Gizwiz. If I've fallen and I can't get up, I usually require M&Ms, good and plenty, and something from good humor. And then call a doctor. <laughs> so you record it. That's a little record button. Record up to 30 seconds. Push record again. And then that stops it. Then you give it to the person to wear. And hopefully when someone finds them in the street, it says press in emergency. There'll be a five second like alert Ow. tone. Yeah, so there. Uh, yeah. Hi, it's the Giz Wiz. If I've fallen and I can't get up, I usually require M and M's, good and plenty, and something from good humor, and then call a doctor. And then it'll recycle again and repeat the message. It does that uh, up up to about uh, an hour and a half, and the person who finds it just pushes it and stops it. So. Huh. It's a limited use thing, but the reason I think it's not a bad deal is it's six bucks. Okay. I found it uh on Newegg. Regular price $29.99. Save $24 and change, and it is five dollars and ninety-five cents. Also in the package, it's actually not a bad idea. Um, you can put the person's telephone number and anything else short you want. You peel that off, it goes here. And then they even provide a little clear plastic that will go over this. Whatever you write here, stick on the watch, then stick the clear over it so that this doesn't wear off uh, being against the wrist or if it gets wet in any way. Uh, that's about it. Uh, for what it is, I think it's good for six bucks. I think it's pretty good. And, uh, that's true. If I, if there is an emergency and you find me in the street, I need those things. Good and plenty, good humor. Then the doctor. Gizwiz, Dick Bartolo. Bye. That's pretty, that's a lot cooler than I, when you first brought it out, here's what I thought it would be. Oh, I fall yeah. I can't get up. The end is near. All of my belongings go to my first child. Nothing goes oh. to the second, and the rest goes to the third. Like, it's like a, a like wrist a left will. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good. You know what? You could use it for that. You, you could. could use it for that. You could. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Assuming you, you don't have, give you anything to it. my first wife. She's <laughs> out of the well. Oh my gosh, that's what I originally thought. But I like that because if you've fallen and you know, or maybe you've anticipated uh, something and you think you're going to pass out or something like that, maybe you could tell whoever ends up finding you which medication you need, what your issue is. I could see this being being it, it, something that, and also with that loud beep, I could see that it might also be a signal that something's wrong. If, if you know that you have something and you can feel it coming, you can hit the button and let people know. Yes, I think if you had fallen or passed out on a park bench or something, someone might think you were sleeping, but I think when they hear that beep, they right. would go over and say, is he sending an emergency? Why is this thing making so much noise? Right. Um, yeah, and as I said, again, you know, it could put on a child, anything where you want to impart some quick information and you don't have to be techy about it. The only tech thing is recording it. And then uh, there's a little lock button so that when you push the record button accidentally, it won't erase it. Um, it will just save it. So that, that's pretty neat. I like it. And inexpensive. Yeah. Six bucks. Has some good uses. They may be a little limited, but if this works for you, I mean, six bucks. 
It's yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I so think it's 13 it. on Amazon. So uh, go to Newegg if you're uh, interested. Perfect. Awesome. North American Emergency Recorder with wristband. Band. Uh, and our final gadget is a gadget uh, you probably haven't seen before. I never did until I got it. The Gizwa is Nick Bartolo with one of the probably one of the worst gadgets of the year. This is it over here, okay? <laughs> Technic hands-free device collar. So you can use it for cooking, lecturing, changing, changing the baby, bathing, okay? <laughs> well, first of all, it comes, this wire is, ra everything's in this little box, okay? So this wire took forever to unwind it. The, the the part that holds your phone, that works fine. The car, the thing that goes around your neck, this, this broke off already. <laughs> um, it's really stupid. Now, the, the only good thing about it is, well, there's nothing good about it. Well, the price, okay? It's only $7, $6.95, all right? And it got pretty good reviews. Uh, up there, it looks like... 4.6 out of 5 stars. All right, so if you happen to <laughs> see what it also said up there, yeah, uh, is it's not really a gadget, all right? I built this. I built oh, this myself. What? <laughs> Probably my fooled. best endeavor of the year to match the box copy. It does. Uh, in reality, I think I did a pretty good job. All right, this is a prank pack. We've not done a prank pack in years. So this is one of their newest ones. And so here's the idea of a prank pack, is you give this to a person as a gift, but you put a real gift inside it. And so they get it and then they go, oh, wow. You know, and underneath they're thinking, what is he kidding me? And then when you open it, it says you've been had, your real gift is inside. Of course, you could do, you've really been had and not put a gift inside. <laughs> um, all right, so I paid eight bucks for mine. It's come down a little. It's now uh, $6.95, free shipping, not Amazon Prime. I guess when I paid the, the $8, it was Amazon Prime. Um, but the company does really well. I mean, uh, I, I wish it was cheaper, but, you know, they get models, they build the thing, they do all kinds of photography. Here's the guy at the gym <laughs> working out with it. <laughs> so if you want to have a fun time by giving a dumb gift, you could do worse than Tech Neck, the hands-free device collar. Uh, basically, as a joke, I think it's pretty funny. I, I was convinced for a moment there that you did not... Uh, the first time I saw it, I was like, that looks like those prank boxes. I remember those prank boxes. And then when you showed the actual gadget, I I was legit fooled. I was thinking there. Someone well, should, it, it someone, worked out so because much like the other one. I, I know. I was looking at it and I thought, wait a minute. I have a thing in the office on, on a shelf that has that, a wire and, and with a screw on the end. And I took it out. Then I took a selfie stick. And I unscrewed the thing that holds your phone, and it was the same screw, so I screwed that on. And then I said, well, now I just need a neck thing. Uh, I had something The fact that you said, said no, yeah, it's already broken. It came broken. Yes, I, I know. Was convinced. I know. Convinced. I know. I said to Dennis, Dennis said, well, it's black in the picture. I said, yeah. I, I said, wait a minute. I have air conditioning foam left over <laughs> that's bendy and black. That is so um, funny. So I, I, I built it, and it came out pretty good. I like uh, it. Yeah. So Prankao.com oh, has the, all of them, tons of my, them. It's the, uh, the shower thing there. That is my all-time favorite. This is funny. Go up a little. Um, the handy. Handy hand? My first, my, 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 my first fire. It's okay. very funny. <laughs> I like the handy uh, hand. Where's my first uh, fire? My oh, there first, it is. Yes. Okay. There it is. My first fire. <laughs> Is the kids? <laughs> isn't that a riot? You get a fire ring, book, a logs, and eight ounces of fuel. But my favorite is there. It is are. bed, a bath and brew. A bath and brew. The bath and brew. It's uh, over on the right. 
oh, and down a little. There you go. Bath and Brew, <laughs> the AC coffee pot <laughs> that you, the shower water goes through. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Is that funny? They should do one of these that say, uh, um, <laughs> a, uh, what is a hair dryer, you know, like a hair dryer, dryer and loofah combo or something like yes. that. You're supposed yes. to plug the hair dryer into the wall. Yeah. Now I'm assuming that it's a bigger box because you have to get into the fact that when someone sees it, if it's a tiny box, no, they know there no. can't be a coffee pot in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, some of them are <laughs> 12,000 piece puzzle. Oh, and it's all one color. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Very, that's, that's oh, they're actual size. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very funny. That's very funny. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, there you go. You know, this is perfect. We have a white elephant plan for my family. And uh, this might be something I need to get to put my oh, white elephant yeah. gift inside. That would be so funny. So funny. Okay, well, that's that's it. Those prank, gosh, those, yeah, very good. With that, let's move on to... Oh, Chad's uh, Crappy Corner. What was that? that okay, was one a, second. Chad's really <laughs> short-themed... <laughs> there we go. Who? But you might want it at Chad's. Crappy Corner. Get it. Okay, so we are in the middle of Christmas, holiday, fun gadgets. And boy, have I got one for you. It's this little Santa holding the candle, and everything will become apparent in the video. So let's okay. toss it on over to the video. Hey, Dickie D, so here we are with a new holiday gadget. This is Goodnight Lights. The idea is that instead of getting on the ground to turn off and on your Christmas lights, you use this ornament as a switch to turn them on and off. But it has a really cool gimmick that all you have to do is blow on the candle, on Santa's oh. candle. It will detect you blowing out the candle and then the lights will turn off. So I think it's a really, really cool idea. Instead of reaching down, you just kind of go, and then the lights will turn off. So let's open this up and plug it in and see how it works. <laughs> Charlie okay, says, oh, so can I, I eat that? <laughs> and this is what it looks like. There's kind of a, I would say about three foot uh, long cable and a box which you would plug in your lights to. So let's go ahead and install it. I have my lights here, unplug them, plug them into the box. There we go, plug the box into the wall. And unfortunately this isn't very long. So I have I was hoping to install on the front, but uh, I guess this the, it goes right here because <laughs> this is like the only spot for it. And this cable, if I really wanted to hide this cable, it'd have to go like here because the cable just isn't very isn't very long. I I guess I need to scoot my tree back or something like that. Um, or possibly, you know what? I'm an extension. Is I can yeah. plug this as an extension cord. Okay, let me reach in there, there plug this into the extension cord. Although that's going to be a little bit more of a hassle. Okay, so I just plugged it in. This gives me a lot better uh, of an angle in order to put my ornament on. So let's, let's go ahead and attach him. I kind of want a sturdy branch. I don't have a hook with me, so it's just, he's just going to kind of lay here. So there you go. The cable, I could do a better job of hiding it if I wanted to. Just for this recording, I'm not going to really worry about it. It does kind of blend in a bit. So. Let's see if it works. All I have to do is blow on the candle. There we go. Oh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Okay, it turns off all the lights. There we go. Oh. You can see I have to basically move Santa. If you just lightly blow. There you go. Okay, nice. Okay, so it's actually working. You do have to get pretty close. 
If I here, let's let's test the, the strength and distance. There we go. You do have to blow a little bit harder than I would expect. You do have to really kind of push Santa around uh, with your breath. If you really blow hard, it gets it every time. It, I, I, I'm getting a little hyperventilated, uh, <laughs> hyperventilated. Uh, but it does work. I wonder if it, it, I assume that it's just a microphone that if you were to yell at it, Okay, maybe it does need to actually be blown on. Uh, pretty cool, I gotta say. I wondered if it was just a microphone or if it was uh, some type of wind detection device. It looks like it is some type of wind detection device. But there you go. Now, you no longer have to reach on the ground to turn off your lights. You can just walk on over here, blow on the candle, and then all the lights turn off at once. And then when you're ready at night for it to turn back on, you just blow on it again. That's how you light or fires, more, right? By blowing on fire. No, uh, maybe. Uh, there you go. There you have it. The good night light. Good night lights. Blown out Santa's candle to turn on and off tree lights. So if you're the blind day in the board. Anyway, um, by Mr. Christmas, I guess. There you go. Okay, so oh, I th I like that. It worked out pretty good. Um, it wasn't too expensive. I actually need to go back and look at exactly how much it cost me because right now, unfortunately, you can only buy it used on Amazon. I was ex this seems like a, they're sold out. I'm not exactly sure how they got sold out. Um, or maybe I'm looking at the wrong. I I searched it again. Let me go into my orders and. See yeah. if I can pull it up. Beatmaster um, said that if they could uh, integrate an alcohol detection into <laughs> it, <laughs> you'd really have something. Have you had enough eggnog or not? <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. It wasn't too expensive. I think that it was really fun, and I could see it being very practical um, as well. My only, my only criticism is this cable is just not very long. I mean, it's just you know, exactly three feet, and, and that is it, which is kind of a little bit of a bummer. Um, but one little uh, extra tidbit of funness is that on their Amazon page, they have this video that's a little funny, so let's, let's go ahead and watch that. Good Night Lights Santa, a tree light controller <laughs> that turns lights on and off. It just feels very it. homemade. I mean, First, if you yeah. thought, let's Plug knock the it out of the park. into the control was, box. Second, hang the Santa this ornament on the tree. Third, blow into the candle to turn the lights on and off. No more crawling under the tree to power the lights. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. Um, it's, so that yeah, it's great. Very funny. Very homemade. Reviews are pretty good. Um, the, the, the best, wow, the worst people reviews. people liked it. Yeah, people really liked it. The worst reviews are that uh, you have to really blow hard on, um, on the gadget for it to detect. But all in all, a cute little, uh, cute little gadget, which I think is the perfect Gizwiz gadget. Something you would use every no, day. No, absolutely. But and if you want to drive the kids crazy when you uh, leave, put a piece of scotch tape over the microphone. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> and and they come in and they, they have blown the tree over. And go, <laughs> the tree blew over and the lights are still on. I can't figure it out. Put it out. Hurricane force winds. <laughs> uh, with that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. Well, Linda Morangello. Uh, M-O-R-I-N-G-E-L-L-O. -L -L Linda sent us a short video, but it's very cute. The gadget is, I can see why she can't throw it out, but why she doesn't use it. And here's her video. Hi, Dick and Chad. This is Linda from Virginia with my gadget that I just can't seem to throw away. So what is it? This would be perfect for a what is it um, guess. Huh. And like if you an don't ornament? know, this is something that my parents had and they put out every year for Christmas. 
Um, but it's horribly irritating because it doesn't have an off button. So you plug it in and it just stays on the entire time and you can't turn it off. And yet I can't throw it away. So what is this? You plug it in and it makes bird noises <laughs> and it doesn't stop. So you just have to leave it plugged in or you just put it out and you don't plug it in. It also drives the dog a little crazy. <laughs> So this is my gadget. Can't use it, can't throw it away. Thanks. That is incredibly annoying. Oh my. I, uh, also, it almost sounds like it's the same bird sound. Yeah. It's just, it's over and, over and over and over. <laughs> um, in, the, in the Twitch chat, Nilba screams, all caps, oh my gosh, I think I know what that is. My grandma had it. Oh my gosh, it's oh. that. Oh my gosh, my childhood house from my grandma's house. Oh my gosh. Nilba's freaking out. That's <laughs> hilarious. My grandma had one of those two. What a weird, that, it seems like, it seems so fancy. It seems so yeah. fancy. Yes, I know. You're thinking it's a very elegant ornament. And yeah. then, well, the key is. Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly. like you're connected to the it's internet. <laughs> oh uh, Linda, that was very funny. And Linda, um, I'm assuming you live in the U.S. You'll get a the March issue, the uh, February 2019 Mad, and one of those 38 year old Alfred E. Newman pictures. And I think that might be the last video from a, a new person. So if you want to make a video, do it quick. And get it to us uh, so it can be on next week's show. And if you sent me a video and we didn't show it, uh, email me again saying, what happened to my video about the so-and-so? Because sometimes um, we get a lot of mail and a gadget uh, email may fall by the wayside. So a video, anything to do with a gadget, two to three minutes long, even a minute. Linda's was a minute. Uh, put it on YouTube. You can click on listed so that only people with the URL will see it and email us the link. And that goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it today. Do it now. With that, <laughs> let's move on to the letter. Now, and our letter is from Mo. Mo, a frequent, uh, frequent contributor to the show. It says, guys, look at this. It's bizarre, but mesmerizing. Hmm. Okay, here it is. The mesoglobe. Ooh. Oh. Is mesmerizing. It is. Whoa. Made from solid it's metal. Solid rod. GNC machine. GNC It's machined. Fully spherical. Okay. How how much would you pay? Um. Let's see. They're three hundred thirty-nine thousand dollars each. <laughs> oh, I misread that. Sorry. Wow, they have raised a quarter, over a quarter, a third million dollars. Uh, a third of a million dollars. Wow. But you know what? What are you know? Without looking down, what is your guess as to one of these cost? I would hope like less than twenty dollars. But then you would be wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm afraid it's gonna cost more like forty or fifty dollars. Um, your first guest is closest, if I remember. Okay. All right, so let's go down. Oh, 32. someone said ten dollars. Someone said ninety-nine. Ugh. Beat mess is ninety-nine, nick with a C ten dollars, Becky twenty-five dollars. Um I'll buy it when it's on sale. Um uh, well wait a minute, that's three of them. Right, 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 right. So it's 32 yeah. for yeah, one. For one. 60 okay. for two. So you get $4 off. 82 for three. 
So you get a lot more off. Uh, what is that? It would be 99, 90. Yeah, but you know what? And then uh, shipping, it says. Yeah. yeah. So it does, it does go down the more. Uh, you also, buy. this is the first time I have ever seen estimated delivery where they changed the date to an earlier date. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> we talked to China. They can make these yeah, things so fast. Can, yeah. We had no idea. Huh. Okay. Well, then. Anyway, well, well, Mo, uh, we will. Mesmerizing is a good word. I, I don't in the know. Chat if... know how to speak Chinese? Because I feel like <laughs> if we just could talk to a manufacturer in China, me and Dick could make some really good Kickstarter campaigns, some really, really good ones. That's what. You, oh, my you know, gosh. You're absolutely right. Did yeah. Bleak just find it on AliExpress? What? Oh, it's so similar. It is so similar, but it's not the same. It's. It's a similar product, but it is not the same. No, but it almost it almost looks like it almost could be like let's take that yeah and just, make it round. Yes. So let's it's think different. outside of the box and in <laughs> the sphere. That's why. Yes, I'm thinking. exactly. Think outside of the box it came in. Oh, they're four ninety nine on what? Yeah, they're four ninety nine on on AliExpress. Oh wait, this one's twenty. This is twenty bucks. I don't know. Whoops, that's the incorrect. This is twenty dollars. But wait, uh, did you find the right, the correct one? I guess if you if you go yeah, up. Yeah. Also, price. there's no video. Do they do the same thing? I assume they do, right? I don't. Yeah, I I want to see a video of it moving because I'm yeah. not convinced. We don't. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there are. Uh, uh, ask and you <laughs> shall receive. Huh? Huh? They're so close. I just need that video to load. I'm just oh. going down here to see. Is this a GIF? There you go. Here you go. Okay. Yeah. It's it's pretty interesting. I mean, it's it's way more interesting for how much was it? Uh, 20, uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 yeah. bucks. That's $20. But if There'll you get a um, 19. Oh no, I I did that wrong. I don't know. What is the bulk price? Order US uh for 10 for 10 pieces or more, it only cost $18. Oh. Um, but I'm sure that you yeah. could But the thing is is that these guys are making them already. You just tell them make a sphere one, charge we're going to order a whole bunch after our Kickstarter campaign is done. How many people back this thing? How many people? Let's go see. Um oh, this is an Indiegogo. This isn't even Kickstarter. Um it says how much they raised. It doesn't say how much, how many backers exactly. It just says, I mean, just do the, the dividing. At least over a hundred thousand. Okay, it's around thirty bucks for one of these. So it's around a hundred thousand. We're gonna buy a hundred thousand of them. Charge us seven dollars. Make them. I mean, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Put one on a bookcase and you'll get a hundred new Patreon subscribers. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, hypnotize look at them. the related videos. After this video played, this is their video on YouTube. Okay, it ends. YouTube suggests a video for you to play. Oh, oh. And it's theirs. Oh my, oh my gosh. Holy moly. These people are scamming people, and I don't understand how we can't scam people, Dickie D. <laughs> we need to be scamming people on a, on Indiegogo. Well, yeah, go. we do, but not the Patreons. We have to scam. Not the Patreons, If you're, not, if no. you're a Patreon, we won't scam you. No, just, just those, those people who don't understand how the internet and Alibaba works <laughs> over on Indiegogo. That's what we got to do. Uh, anyway. They said that they're $30 on Amazon. <laughs> That is so funny. That is a riot. That so, Mo, riot. thanks for that. We are detectives. We are the Gizwiz detectives. Yeah. C case Well, closed. you know, we should, we should uh, employ the chat room and sort of service. We can find it cheaper. <laughs> and yeah. And people can email us, and we'll just, we'll just yeah. hand it over to the chat room. Um, yeah, exactly. I, this, is, this is what I'm all about. Here, let me – I think I can come up with a, a good um, – anagram um we'll call it wcgb stands for we can google it better <laughs> that's what it stands that's for that's good that's good yeah, there you go that's good. 
With that, I want to give a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. If you love the show, please consider supporting over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. There, you'll find a community of lovely folks who love the gizwiz so much they give back every single episode. Just a little bit, just an itty bitty amount. We're not talking crazy here. A dollar an episode would be incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has supported so far and who continues to support. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. We wouldn't be able to do this show without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If, Gizw if uh, Patreon is not your thing, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there is a PayPal link for a single one-time donation if you'd prefer to give that way. There at gizwiz.tv, that is where our show lives, so you can head on over there to catch it live. We're live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. But if you don't catch us live, no big deal. You can catch all the previous episodes, subscribe on iTunes or any of your favorite podcatchers, all that. Also head on over and to Giz... I'm going to jump in here oh, yeah, that at gizwiz.tv on New Year's Eve. Oh, yes. Chad and I are going to celebrate it twice. We're going to celebrate it for New York at midnight. And then we're going to celebrate it an hour later with Chad uh, for, what is your time called? Mountain? Central time. Central time. Central time. Yeah. Uh, central time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to be part of that, if you, can, uh, you want to make uh, like a 15 second video, wishing happy new year to everybody in the chat room or whatever, do the same thing. Make a little video. Nothing more than 30 seconds and uh, send that on to mail at gizwiz.tv. Okay. With a link to that. And then we can show those as we, um, you know, we always have a special camera down on 42nd street. We have our own location and we had to talk uh, to even, the city. It was difficult. Believe exactly. Me. We even, we even have our own, uh, ball it, and it's helicopter. way more exact and helicopter. We yeah. do. Do we do? It's great. Uh, yeah. So celebrate uh, New Year's Eve with us in the safety of your own home. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, we do have an update on we can find it cheaper. Uh, oh, have, my God. Okay. We have found it. The exact. Rot oh, well, get out my of your menu. gosh. It's the exact thing for five bucks. Five oh my dollars. God. Oh my gosh, that's 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 pretty so, sad. So, what is your guess? Is your guess that someone sees this, designs a whole Kickstarter campaign, and is out to scam people, or does someone come up with this, go to a place in Japan or overseas, and order that. a billion of them, and then they go, "Well, we now that we it sold on AliExpress, I just exactly." Have to say, why yeah, do we I, sell? We have uh, ninety cases too many. Yeah, I I could see both. I could see both absolutely. Is someone scours AliExpress, finds a product that only one manufacturer is making that's inexpensive. They order, they make a kickstart, they order a few, they make a Kickstarter campaign all around it or uh, Indiegogo or whatever, and then they sell a whole bunch. Or I could see they developed something. They need to find a manufacturer. They head to China or wherever, get it made, and then they take that and just throw it on AliExpress after the fact. After the fact. Yeah. Could be either one the, of those. The, the, the reality is, though, is those those Indiegogo people. There's they, they just they just made they just got in revenue three hundred and thirty thousand dollars for this product. I mean, it's yeah. ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Incredible. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. With um, that, hey, head on over to <laughs> gizwiz.biz. Play What the Heck Is It? The only game show online. It'll perk you up. It'll make you happy after you're depressed about Indiegogo people making all that money. <laughs> this is the gadget, the full gadget, nothing but the gadget. And this is the Mad Magazine you're playing for. The 20 Dumbest Things of 2018. So if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. It's pretty obvious to me this is a new type of cold brew. You put put it over a glass, you put your uh, filter, you know, coffee in there, and then it can co-brew in just a normal old glass overnight. And then you got a glass of coffee 
in the morning. If you think you know what it is, there's six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. Don't forget about New Year's Eve. Send those videos in and also participate on New Year's Eve in, uh, in what are we, Eastern time and East, Eastern Central time. time. Right, yeah. So we're going to, people are saying, is it going to be an hour? No. Uh, we'll, we'll do like, we'll, pop Chad, in, we'll, pop we'll, we'll go pop live. Yeah, yeah, we'll exactly. go live like 20 to 12 and we'll, we'll go through the new year and then talk for like 10 minutes or something. And then we'll take like a half hour break and then we'll do it again for central time. Perfect. With that, we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>